Hey, it's Ball and Video Games here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Pinnacle Studio 14 in order to ensure that you're getting the most out of your videos. The things I'm going to go over today are how to import your video, the correct settings you should use when importing video, how to fix any lag that you may encounter, adding titles, transitions, music, and sound effects to your videos, and then ultimately how to publish them in either standard definition or high definition, I'll go through both. Um, the high definition is going to be to upload to sites such as YouTube in 720p. Okay, now once you go to setup at the top up here, you're going to hit project preferences. Now what you need to make sure that you have selected in the settings here are that you have set from first clip added to project down here in the bottom left corner and that it's set to NTSC standard. Also on the right, when it says when adding a disk menu, you want to make sure it says don't create chapters because if it does then it's going to start splitting up your movie uh, capture and it's going to be all frames and it'll be hard to work with now you switch over to the video and audio preferences tab you want to make sure that enable hardware acceleration is checked so you want to have that checked and then you want to go down and make sure that your channels is on 16-bit stereo and that your sample rate is on 44.1 then you want to go over to the background rendering box make sure enable background rendering is checked and use this codec for background rendering you want to select MPEG-2 best for output to disk and then you want to hit OK alright now I'm going to show you how to import and capture video from a source such as a capture card like the Dazzle um, one thing is we are using the HD PVR and you cannot use that to capture in Pinnacle it comes with its own program uh, if you want more information on that software, check out our other videos. But when you go to Studio Import, over here on the left, you're going to select your source. I don't have a Dazzle plugged in, but it'll say Dazzle DVC, and you want to make sure that Composite is selected. Over here on the left, you're just selecting your file locations. You just make a, a folder on your computer. And you want to make sure that MPEG-2 and Don't Create Chapters is selected over here under the file name box. Then when you're ready, you just hit start capture which will be right down here um, once you're done capturing whatever you want just hit stop capture now once you've imported some video when you play back through it if you notice that there's any lag between the video and audio sync such as um, peaks when you're shooting a gun the audio is not going to match up sometimes what you need to do is just split the audio file into two separate um, sections so that you'll have your section in the middle where the lag occurs and you want to drag that to match up where you need it to correspond with the Alright, now I'm going to show you how to add titles to your videos. You want to click the T, which is Show Titles, over here on the left taskbar, and that's going to give you the options here, but you can also click on the drop down. That has some different choices. Uh, if you have the Ultimate uh, Studio Collections, you might have some more choices. But say you want to use this one right here. You just want to click it and drag it down to where you want it in your video. Then to edit it, to say whatever you want, you double click. This will let you type in whatever you want for your title to be on your video I'm just gonna put that in there for now and if you want to change it to uh, to look different you can highlight it there's preset standard options right here uh, or you can go to customs and you can change the face color you can change the edge color you can make the shadow uh, thicker or lighter different directions and all of that to make sure that you get your point across with your Alright, now I'm going to show you how to add transitions to your video so that it just doesn't go from one video clip to the next. As you can see down here, without a transition, it's going to go straight from my title straight to the video. But if I don't want it to do like that, I can add, say I want this one right here, you'll see a preview. Um, a and B just represent your two video clips and then the transition in between. So if I want this one, I'm just going to click it and drag it to the spot in my video where I want and then that's how you add your transition. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to add music clips and sound effects to your videos. This is where you have to be careful because not so much with sound effects, these are preloaded onto Studio, but with, if you're going to be using any downloaded music, you have to watch out for copyright if you're going to be uploading this to YouTube. Uh, if you're not uploading it to the internet, you're really not going to have a problem, but you just click and drag to wherever you want it in your video. Now sound effects are preloaded. There's options such as animals, background, bells, cartoons. Um, I'm just going to go to background and you can see that there's such things such as cold and wind. If you go to cartoons there's uh, cartoon noises.
and basically if you want to add one you're just gonna click it and drag down to the music taskbar just like that alright now that you've finished your video it's time to publish it if you want to publish your video as just a standard definition video you're gonna go to make movie and then file type is gonna be windows media with preset high quality upload in TSC now over here you're gonna see the presets are 480 by 360 with 29.97 frames per second uh, that's good enough if you just want standard definition then you're then gonna create file type in your file name and save it alright if you want higher quality such as HD 720 what you want to do is make the file type as MPEG 2 and preset as custom I know it says HD 720 here but that doesn't have the right presets that we're looking for alright now you, once you do that you want to go to settings and make sure that the file type is set to MPEG-2 with HD 720 resolution and the following options that you see here. In audio you want to have the compression as MP2, stereo and the following options that you see here. Um, if you need more help with changing these settings or figuring out which ones you should use we have a more in-depth video that will show you exactly which op options to choose and how to fine tune to make sure that you're getting the highest quality. If you have any questions regarding specific things that you've seen in our video or advanced techniques that I didn't get around to covering in this tutorial, uh, you can either just let us know on a comment or subscribe and ask us through our channel, but uh, I'll be more than happy to make a video to show you how to do those things. So uh, just remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.